Well, hello everybody, and welcome to part one of JPDS Trails, and I'm actually starting it right here, just to, so I can choose the level, and it's it's either that level or that level, because as mentioned in part four of JPDS Planes, uh, JPDS Trails is actually split up into three levels, and it is that one, that one, and that one. You might think we would just start at that one, but I'm pretty sure that it's actually this one. JPDS Force, and hopefully it won't stop recording. I don't think it does. I think it like just starts a new video at a new resolution. I don't know. Is it still recording? Yes, it is. And that's usually how I figure out whether or not it's recording by determining the mouse lag when at, in the main menu or in the just the general options menu. That's usually how I determine it. So that way I just don't record a full episode without anything happening. What brought that down? And you may notice that no long we are no longer actually following the fence thing. In fact, the fence is just gone. And then you may ask, well, what was that JPDS trails, like the level that's actually named that? Well, it was either this, or spawn on top of a bridge above a river. And hey, what dinosaur is that? Is that the dinosaur that showed up in one of my random gameplay videos just at the same time as the music turned to a very happy horn-type trumpet thing? I think it is. I, I believe that's a th some... I, I, I don't know what that is. I was going to say it's a Thurzinosaurus, but... It obviously does not have those long claws of a Therizinosaurus. Basically, for a good while, we're going to be following this here trail. Although I do know in that direction, sort of, we're going to find two pigs. Yes, pigs. They were taken, assumably, from TC Rescue, although they have been reskinned. So they look completely different. I'm not really even a big fan of custom dinosaurs. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I don't, uh, like a Spinosaurus or something like that I'll take, but like, all these Velociraptors, like, within my Trespasser career, I've probably seen a couple dozen different raptor skins, and I, it's kind of hard to believe that on the same island there are that many variations of the same animal. Hey, it looks like we're actually approaching something mildly significant. Hey! Alright, there's a bridge. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, wait, wait a minute, what does it say? Road closed. Huh. Why would it be closed? That's a very excellent question. In fact, I already know why it's closed. Because the bridge is significantly broken. This one likes to wobble, and then this one is a big... This one right here is a big seesaw. Yes, it is a big, 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 big seesaw. Yes. Oh, and then you fall down. Oh, wow, that was a lot of health. Oh, well. I lived. Where does that road go? I honestly do not know. I'll check that out. But first, we should check out this right here. You know, these two buildings here, hidden behind the invisible boundary that is all go that goes along the dam that is impossible to get through. Yes, it is. And that building is locked. Is there anything in here? Oh wow, there is something in here. Not much, though. And yes, this building is locked, as I learned in my semi-practice run. Semi-fly-through run of this level. Although, this building is not locked. I'm pretty sure if you, like, touch those, then, like, the, some part of the glass, then it... Then you actually get cut, and that thing you cannot move, I cannot even imagine what that might have opened if it worked and there's nothing in those I already know that there's nothing in here 
this was absolutely pointless. Let's fly back over that invisible barrier and then see where this road goes, because I really do not know. I never saw this. Although I do know that later on, for this very rather large building complex of of whose name I will not mention, this you actually need a passcode for it, and I do not know where that passcode is at all. Even in my fly-through run, which I actually looked for quite extensively, I could not find it. So might it be somewhere up here, perhaps? I don't know. It might be. I actually have no idea where I'm going right now. Hey, the raptor. Hello! Too bad I, did, too bad I didn't take the gun from the Biosyn Jeep that was down there by the dam on the other side. But again, which side is the other side? Because it was on both sides, huh? Well, it was the side we first came on. Where we, where there was a split in the path and we had to decide between the dam or the bridge. I probably should have taken the dam. And I would have gotten the gun too, but no, I just had to show that off first, didn't I? And I was planning to come back after we went through those buildings and go this along the dam then. has to go somewhere. And go along it then and then get the gun, but no, I just had to see this path, didn't I? Oh, hey, there's a truck. Might this contain the passcode that we need or will need? Well, there's nothing inside it and we can't open the doors. Oh, hey, Raptor, how you doing? Don't just lie there, get help. And he's dead. That's all we need to know. Wouldn't it be weird to find an alive person? That would be awkward. How, how would that be scripted? Well, um, well, it might be scripted as just an animal, but really, you couldn't talk to him or anything. Maybe his mind had his mind had gone berserk, and he like forgot to talk or something. And that would be very awkward. Hey, is a gate of some sort. That's interesting. Hopefully this one does not need a passcode and then we can just walk right through it. What? Pine Valley? Why would I want to go to Pine Valley? What? You tell me I came all the way up here for nothing. I, I'm, I'm dissatisfied now. I'm angry. Although that was an excellent idea to put Pine Valley into it. But then you would just go into all the retail levels and you'd be a completely different person as Anne and that, that, I, oh, well, I guess you could have just made a customized Pine Valley in which it would like load a different JPDS level or something. That would, but that would be very odd though. Because then the terrain texture would just be completely different on the other side and so on. And why did I just bounce? That was very awkward. Hey, we're gonna go get the gun as I... As I really intended us to do. So now we're actually on the same path and I know where we're going. Hurrah! And there's that Biosyn Jeep I mentioned. With a Scorpion, I believe they are called. As I called it in JPDS Planes. Yes, a Scorpion. That has 42 bullets, even though in 07 Goldeneye the Claw, which was just a renamed Scorpion, had 20 bullets. And the fog settings just changed. Usually you don't even notice it that much, but I don't know, the lag. The lag is the primary thing that's, that lets you know that there actually was a fog transition. Because then you actually get to see it change very clearly because you're not focused on anything else. You're just, hey, why did that happen? And oh, it's the fog. You know, it's pretty laggy anyway, so we get to break into the shed using the sledgehammer. Break the lock. Cheap lock. There we go. Oh, hey, what's that? It's an explosive barrel? Well, yes it is, and we're, we're gonna need it.
an ant can actually carry it quite surprisingly. Oh boy, that's a big drop. Very laggy drop, too. Okay, just let go of the barrel. Save yourself. Okay, well, what are we going to do with this explosive barrel? And why are we putting it next to this big rock that's in our path? Well, everybody, thank you for watching. This has been part one of JPDS Trails. Slash part whatever, because I really don't know if I was even supposed to do this level first. Thank you for watching, and see you all next time.